Hey guys, it's Kelsey. I'm back with another scrapbooking process video. Today is off the board with pineapple papers and this is my pin for today. So I took a mood board from Pinterest and I love this one because as soon as I saw it, it reminded me of some of my favorite products ever, ever to date. And since this is the last page I'm squeezing out before I have to go back to my uh, kits for how to kill a kit with style next month, I figured I would go into my favorite stack of papers in my stash that I hoard and always buy when I can find them again, which are like Moonstruck papers and Wolfpack papers <laughs> and um, those kinds of fonts. So this Eclipse Moon paper is one of my favorites from Pink Paisley's Moonstruck, which is probably in my top two or three, possibly top favorite collections of all time. <laughs> and several of these other papers I got because I thought they coordinated really well. I think this ombre paper is potentially One Canoe 2 Twilight. It may also be Moonstruck or it could be just another similar collection, but I thought this pink sunsetty ombre looked really, really good um, with this moon paper. And so, yeah, I think you can see right away, as soon as I saw the mood board, I was like, oh my gosh, this reminds me of Moonstruck. And then I went through this whole thing of going through my stash and pulling out all the Moonstruck type papers I had. And that was basically the inspiration for this page. So uh, I had some scraps of pink vellum. I'm trying to pull that in. I have some scraps of this blushy pink. So I'm trying to pull that in. Um, there's a couple other scraps still left there that you saw earlier in a month for a separate page. I'm still doing my torn edges on a lot of these papers. I've really enjoyed how that's looked. Um, I am doing a, a mat of white behind the pink vellum, but I'm having it sit shorter than the actual vellum. So the pink vellum overhangs. And I really like that because the white behind the vellum lets you see the true color of that pink. But then the vellum overhang gives you that really nice translucent texture that overlaps with the background paper. So I think that looks really cute. Um, you can see my background. I decided again to do a torn detail. I really enjoyed that. And I think it adds so much fun interest to your page. Um, so that's really all I started with. I glued these two papers together with the tear. I did several mats around my photo. And now I'm trying to figure out how I want to actually design the page and do embellishment. I pulled in a ton of embellishments. Basically, this was my page where I was like, I'm pulling in some of all my favorite products and just seeing what I can get on here. So I have my Moonstruck, I have that One Canoe Two Twilight, I have some Felicity Jane there. Um, I think that's the Zoe collection with those acetate pieces. I thought um, a lot of those hot pink pieces could go. I'm pulling in some P13 right now. I think this is the, um, it's not Soulmate, it's the uh, New Moon collection. There is some soulmate in there, <laughs> um, but there's uh, some constellation paper and, and some blue and pinks that go really, really well with this collection. And also, of course, Heidi Swap Wolfpack, which is another favorite. So I'm just so happy on this page because I'm pulling in little bits from all my kind of favorite uh, collections and creators type thing. <laughs> um, I decided to do kind of some horizontal scraps behind the right side of the photo. So I'm using that tone on tone pink scrap. I'll pull in another scrap of the pinky blush. Um, and now I'm just going in with, with layers. I wanted a couple more fun layers behind the photo before I started embellishing. I really don't know what I'm going to do embellishment wise. I just know I kind of want to pull in from all of these uh, different collections. Um, but I'm trying to get this part glued down. And I think that's a nice fun like basic layering with some interest <laughs> around that photo. This photo is when Billy was um, almost three months. He was three months-ish, I think. Uh, and he had just lost his front two <laughs> upper incisors. And you could barely see in the photo, but his adult incisors were just starting to erupt. So this is kind of documenting him starting to lose his baby teeth, starting to get his adult teeth. Um, really the theme is not really uh what moonstruck is moonstruck is a lot of like uh moons and stars and that kind of thing which is also what p13 and wolfpack has a lot of um but as you can see with this moon paper and the different phases of the moon i'm kind of correlating to change <laughs> so he's growing up he's going into a different phase of his life and that's what I decided to do. So I am adding a doily behind all of these layers just so I have that little white texture poking around all the edges. 
and now I'm starting to look through my embellishments. So this pink acetate tab from the Zoe Felicity Jane collection that says the best, I'm gonna tuck in at the top. Uh, I'm gonna start a little cluster to the lower right hand corner of my photo. That feather is either from Jennifer or Lisa, um, but it was from when my Happy Mail slid together and I couldn't keep everything separated, but that sweet little embossed die cut feather was Happy Mail and I really wanted to use it on that, this page. Uh, so I'm thinking that can be part of the cluster there. I'm pulling in some more Heidi Swap uh, goodies. A lot of her collections coordinate really, really well. So this is part of the Carefree collection that I'm pulling in to go in with Wolfpack. It has some of that same teal. It has that soft gold foil. I'm thinking that I'll have gold as an accent color on this page, um, just because there's a lot of gold um, stickers that I was wanting to use from the Heidi Swap stuff. So. Um, I'm adding this little journaling spot just as a, a layered detail, but to start introducing that soft gold. And now I'm creating this little uh, cluster down here with the feather. So I have this teal circular sticker from Heidi Swap as the background, this big pink feather, and now this good vibes uh, sticker, um, which introduces more of that gold. But I think that looks really sweet. I'm going through the sticker pack, uh, the sticker book again from Heidi Swap. But I don't think I pull anything else out of there. Um, I think I switched to the P13 stickers uh, for the rest of them, but I do get a wolf pack puffy sticker wolf on here, and I'm really excited about that because I love these little puffy stickers that come in that collection, and I still don't know how they weren't used up when I did the collection, but I still have some, so... I'm going to tuck one of those wolves there. I think the watercolory texture of these stickers go really well with the moonstruck texture. And I think that teal is a perfect match to the other Heidi Swap stuff I have used. And now I'm pulling in uh, a moon sticker from P13 to start a cluster in the upper left hand corner. Um, I wanted a moon up there since I have all these moons on this bottom half of the page. So I'm thinking that'll be a nice focal point for a cluster and a sentiment up there. I'm thinking about using these word stickers at the top, but it was just a lot of navy and I kind of wanted some different textures and some different contrasts up there. I want to pull in some of the stuff I did down by the photo. So you can see I'm deciding to use these word stickers down by the photo instead. And then I'll do something else up there by the moon. But I'm gonna go ahead and glue down all of these layers. I know where they're going to go. Um, and then I can start expanding with some other embellishment. But I really love a couple of these P13 sentiments. One of them says spread your wings. Another one says new beginnings. And I think those are both appropriate for Billy growing up. So I'm gonna pop two of those word stickers up on some foam and stagger them underneath the photo. I think that helps fill in the space down there, um, but not in a distracting way, just kind of adds and adds some interest. <laughs> so here's the second sticker. Um, I really like how that looks. And then I don't know if I go back up to the top cluster I can't remember what I do next, but um, right off screen there in my little yellow cat dish, there are some pearlized heart embellishments that I got from Shadney's Etsy shop. They were from a while ago. They were from like last February when she had a lot of Valentine's themed stuff. Um, but I really thought with all the different shades of pink in this collection and on this page, it would be another fun texture to add. So I'm thinking I'll add those as my final touch instead of like enamel dots or something. So <laughs> that's kind of what I'm thinking. Um, but now that I've glued this section down, I, I really wanted to use the moon gold sticker from Heidi Swap because I wanted another pop of gold in the upper right hand corner of the photo. Uh, and I just couldn't pass up another moon <laughs> motif <laughs> because it kind of blends the new moon um, and the wolf pack in with this soft gold style of the Carefree collection. So I did add that over there. And now I'm really wanting to add another wolf um, to this moon at the top since I have the wolf down in the good vibes cluster. So I did add that little wolf there on top of the moon. The moon is going to be popped up on some foam and I'll have some foam behind the wolf as well just so it all lays flat. Um, but I like that as my start of my cluster. I still don't know what I'm doing up there. <laughs> I'm thinking about adding this gold label just to add some of that gold up there too. I do want gold up there, but that label was just a bit too big. Um, but I was kind of looking at the clusters I have around my photo and realized I wanted another one of those hot pink acetate pieces uh, 
to tie into the tab that's down there. So I really wanted to use this enjoy piece. Um, and I, I like that the mix of textures that that adds having kind of that really shiny hot pink piece coming out from this moon. So that's going to start the cluster. And then I thought that would be a nice area to have my title in gold underneath it. And that will tie the gold in up there, but it help fill in some space as well. So I'm going in with my, um, Thickers. I think these are called Fitzgerald, but they're the ones that are on navy, navy foam. Uh, so I like that it has the navy foam that you kind of get a peek of that ties into the other navy products. I'm just going to title this Big Boy Teeth because it's what I had letters to spell. <laughs> um, I center it underneath the moon and then I realized the spacing looks really weird and somehow it looks crooked even though I'm pretty sure it was straight. So I end up scooching all of this over more so it's centered more underneath the enjoy. Um, acetate piece and for whatever reason it looks more lined up there even though I just shifted everything to the right a little bit <laughs> um, but since I end up shifting everything to the right there's this gap on the left side of the page underneath the moon so I decided to tie in some vertical torn papers kind of like banners to tie into what I did behind the photo <laughs> so this is where I'm double checking with a ruler to see if it's straight or not and it's like measuring straight but it's not looking straight and I think part of that was my enjoy acetate piece was a little crooked, so it was making everything look crooked. <laughs> um, but I'm just gonna take a moment to shift all of these thickers to the right. Um, and I think it looks more lined up that way. And then I'll just go back and add some more layers uh, to the left side there to help fill in that gap. But I like that. I didn't wanna do too much up here, but I wanted to make sure kind of it had that mix of textures that the photo had and had all the colors that I, had down by the photo up in that corner too so that was the plan i think i'm almost done shifting all of these over and then i'll go and try to find some scraps to add over there um, you can see the the navy constellation paper from p13 up there in the upper left hand corner of the screen i'm going to take one of those uh, to cut into a banner and then I have another scrap of that pink vellum that I matted the photo in, and I'm gonna make that a torn banner as well, just so I have a mix of textures, but I have those patterns and colors uh, up there too. So it just takes me a minute to get the right size papers that I want, um, but I like that mix that's up there. <laughs> I think that's cute. So I'm just trimming it to size. I'll get that stuff glued down. And then after that, I really just need to do finishing touches. So uh, I know I definitely want to use Shadney's little pearlized hearts. Um, and I love that she gives you so many colors and sizes to pick from. <laughs> um, but I really could have picked any of them because this paper really had the range of all the different pinks. So it's just playing around with where I wanted what. But I kind of just wanted two, like one big, one small hearts in three different areas to create a visual triangle. Um, so you can kind of see where I'll start putting them. I definitely wanted some up by that moon sticker uh, Just because it looked lonely up there. I wanted to <laughs> kind of count it as one of my embellishment clusters um, And then I wanted some down by the word stickers underneath the photo Just so there's kind of two heart clusters framing the photo and then for that visual triangle my third one's gonna be dragged up by the uh, the title just so that's all around the page. I think it makes it really balanced. I'm gonna glue those down with my Tombow Mono Multi Glue. And I think after that, I go in with some gold Heidi Swap Color Shine. I usually don't like mixing my foiled gold and my glitter gold, um, but I did on this page just because that was the best title I had. So I wanted to kind of merge the two. And I think the gold Heidi Swap Color Shine because it does have that fine glitter in it it's a nice mix between this gold glitter and this soft foiled glitter of my stickers. So I'm just going to add that kind of along the diagonal of my uh, photo embellishments. So cute. I think that's pretty much it, but I had a lot of fun with this mood board. It was really easy. It was one of those where I, I saw the mood board and knew immediately what products I had that could go with it. So um, after that, I just kind of had fun. I tried to tie in the moons and a lot of the themes that were in the original mood board. So make sure you check out everyone else playing along with off the board of pineapple papers i think a lot of people might be still playing along with christy's 30 days of sketches so check her out if you want to see all the sketch inspiration but here are the close-ups thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye